Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we're gonna play in the art journal. And I thought it'd be fun to use one of um, Joff at Medieval Mirage's background papers from her um, My Lady's Garden. And I wanted to show you guys, I made this, cause I don't think I did, I didn't do this with you guys at all. I just did this pocket. But um, it's another one of these little funny fold out pages out of two um, book pages. And so there's a little pocket here on the front and then a card I need to stitch around that one still. And then you can see it opens and then this is just all um, collaged for decoration. And then over here we have a little smaller pocket. So this is basically like a lot of the ones that we've already done in the TCTC um, challenge. I just added a small pocket here. And then um, it opens that way and you have two journaling spots. So it would hook onto the page like um, by this part that hasn't been decorated at all. It would glue like right down onto the page and then it opens up like that. So anyway, if you guys are interested in that one, I could do it for a TCTC, but it's very similar to a lot of the ones that we have done. So anywho, um, I wanted to use a piece of this because I'm gonna do something kind of funny. Um, and it may end up looking just stupid, but um, I don't care. It's my art journal and I feel like doing this. So um, I don't know if any of you play around with paper dolls. I love paper dolls, but quite often you use, you know, the gentleman and one of his outfits or the lady and one of her outfits. And then you have all these outfits left and what in the world do you do with them? And I've been thinking about that for a lot of years. And for some reason it never came to me, even though now that it has, it seems rather ridiculous and silly. But anyway, I had to fix this right here because it was lifting up. I think cause I got it wet on the other side. But anyway, I'm gonna put this here and then I thought we could use some of our funny faces that we did the other day. So clearly these are not a great size, you know, they're a lot bigger, but I love that bobble head look and I just think this will be kind of funny. So this is more for fun than anything else, but I thought it might, you know, a lot of people like to do sort of off the wall type of art or mixed media or that type of thing, uh, myself included. So I don't know, it's just kind of fun to, to do that. And it gets you outside your comfort zone a lot of times because we all tend to think everything needs to be, you know, the perfect size, the perfect um, clothes to go with this and that and, you know, what I'm saying. So, obviously, these are sort of Victorian and these are much more contemporary. So, that's generally not always a combination that we would do. But I think it will be fun and we'll just see how it comes out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry my videos are kind of haphazard and everywhere. I just got behind and then, you know, so now I'm having to make the video on the day I upload it and it always takes, it seems, an eon to get them uploaded anymore. I don't know why. Um, it used to not take very long. I could easily do it in the morning and have a video out by the afternoon, but now it seems to be taking a lot longer. So anyways, apologize for that. I'll try to get ahead again, hopefully this week. I don't know. <laughs> Life has just been insane. So um, yeah, just a lot going on. All right, so this is kind of what I'm thinking and I'm gonna leave their little tabs sticking out like that. I thought about just chopping them off because I clearly don't need them. These heads have no body, so. But um, then I thought, hey, you know, that's kind of fun because then it's clearly a paper doll, right? But if you uh, prefer, you can cut yours off or whatever you like. If you do something like this, no problem. Just want to have a little play with it and see how it comes out because like I said I do have a lot of those uh, leftover clothes type things and and you can sometimes find them like at thrift stores and that with pretty much like maybe a doll and you know a million clothes and it's like what am I gonna do with all those clothes you know so and I did try some other things at one point but I was trying to stay you know, too much in size and a uh, time period and all that. And that just made it hard. So that's why I kind of love this idea. 
else. We'll see how it comes out. So I'm going to kind of collage on this page first a little, because this obviously is a little bit smaller, although it does look kind of cool as it's almost framed there. But we'll get this glued down. Yes, we just kind of had a fairly quiet weekend. I mean, we always have yard work to do. It just seems like that's never ending at this time of the year. And it's just been so blasted hot that it's like my husband go out and I go out at like, you know, seven or eight in the morning and still just, ugh, I hate that so much because I like to get up early, get out there and get a bunch of stuff done before it's very hot. But it's just been, you know, like 72 degrees right off the bat, it seems, which that's not an awful temperature at all, but it just only gets hotter, you know. So anyway, it's just been sort of yuck that way. I think I'm going to use some of these. Like this is off of a piece of um, music book page, I think. But it's all sort of, you can see the little holes where the signature was. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that right down there. Poke it a little bit. And again, this is supposed to be fun so just try to go with it I struggle with that too because I do like things a certain way and so I'm not saying that I'm great at just going with it but I'm trying to um, get a little bit better about that just to bring a little more joy into <laughs> some of the processes you know and, and everything doesn't have to be perfect because really in reality nothing is and I tell my kids that all the time that I I often try to make things perfect <laughs> even though I say that. So trying to just be a little bit more free form or whatever you want to call it. And that's hard for me. But I definitely love art dolls, so. It's one of my favorite things to make. It just makes me happy. <laughs> Because they're just always kind of kooky, crazy. Okay, I'll probably go ahead and trim that because I don't really want it hanging off the edge like that. Oh, I put my scissors away. My husband finally hung up my other two pegboard things um, on my wall right in front of me, right um, like above my desk. And oh my gosh, does that help get a lot of junk off my desk? Because there's a lot of stuff that I use like almost daily. And it's hard to, I have a whole bunch of bins over there um, on shelves. You know, they're not huge bins. They go right on the shelves. The last time I said that, somebody asked if I was a hoarder. But anyway, <laughs> so I thought I better be careful what kind of bins I'm saying. They go on shelves. But anyway, um, you put stuff away, which is awesome. But then <laughs> when you just have to get it out again the next day, you sort of just don't even want to put it away. So... Things like this, where I can just put it up there and get to it easily, that's the best for me anyway. I'll put that one on that side. And then again, these are just margins that I've torn off of pages and I tend to, you know, just set them down on my desk right over there just because I do use them in collage a lot. And I like the other side of this one. It's got part of the words, but then it'll be upside down or whatever. And again, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'll just do this side. Because that might send me over the edge. I guess I could have gone sideways and that wouldn't have been bad. I tend to be a very orderly person, even though sometimes my craft area gets in a mess and um, I'm not always super organized, kind of a scatterbrain, but I do like things a certain way, that's for sure. And I'm just going to kind of tear it however here, because it doesn't matter, as long as it's covering up that. That was a plain back, it didn't really have to be covered, but it'll look better, a little more interesting. But 
but it's a little bit of a play on it with the proper background and the proper clothes and then the funny bobbly heads, right? I like the janky edges of the book pages. It's kind of cool. This one I can put up here. My daughter is doing fabulous. So I thank you guys so much for all your kind well wishes. All the prayers definitely, definitely help and I do so, so appreciate it. I can't even tell you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's really pretty amazing. liking this a lot. I like that the way it's looking. Is this piece long enough? Just. So we'll just kind of tear a little bit of it off because I don't want to cover up the... I think those are magnolias, aren't they? I'm not really sure, but they're pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's see. This is old book page too, so if I don't tear it all messed up, it'll be a miracle. Some parts are folded over and stuff. I just said um, I like how some parts are folded over. I got really quiet there. I apologize. Try not to do that, but I definitely do that. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm a pretty quiet person most of the time. Okay, so we have her, and I may even just kind of overlap it like that a little bit, because I'm fine with that. I'm wondering, should I do a little stamping maybe? I kind of feel like it needs that. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys, because I got these and they're super funny. Um, this is by Gatherer of Greater Things, and she's on Etsy. It's Linda Carroll Art, and she's, uh, I think she's drawn these, all these dolls. So it's all pieces and parts that you can collage together, you know, have animal heads or, you know, however you want. Super fun clothes. Um, yeah, and she does collage on YouTube too, so check out Linda Carroll Art on YouTube and then on um, Etsy it's Gatherer of Great Things that's her, her Etsy and I'll try to remember to link that I mean I probably will I usually tend to remember that but just in case I don't you can always remind me too if I'm just being dopey and forget um, something for my word stamp I'm not sure where I put it there it is it was in, a, in some papers. Because <laughs> I'm working on a few few different things. So, of course, there's papers around. Because that's the way that goes. Yeah, I think that'll just kind of give it a little, little bit of something there. I'm not pushing very hard on these, so like I don't care if I get every single word or whatever. Just like that. Okay, I'm not sure. 
sure exactly which head. I think I had my heads picked because I had to trim these necks down a little bit smaller. They were too wide. And I know she's not facing the right direction, but um, I kind of think that's funny in a way. Like, she's got her head turned funny. I think that's the best girl type one I've got. I have to figure out how I like her head the best. I think I want it something like that. Kind of sticking to everything already. Just started. Okay, I'm gonna go around her. I think I'll probably go ahead and use art glitter glue on this just because it's a thicker paper and that's thicker too. I think it just needs to go that way because of the way the neck is on the dress. Yeah, I thought about using the Linda Carroll paper dolls, and then I was like, I really want to use some of those faces that I made. And so I decided to just, and then this came to mind. And these are from that stencil, um, my abstract faces stencil. And I do, I just cut some more, so they are in my shop. At the time I'm filming this video, if they're not, when you get there, just contact me and I, I can, like, make you, uh, cut you one and sell it as a custom order so that you for sure get yours or whatever. Um, I know it's tricky and it's just, it's hard for me to print hu or cut huge quantities, you know, because I can only cut one at a time. So it's kind of just one of those things that, you know, takes me a minute to do it. And so it's hard to have a, a large quantity in the shop at once, so... Apologize for that, but I'm always willing to work with you however I can on stuff. Stick. Okay, and then for this guy, <laughs> I think they're just funny. I cut one thinner. Where did it go? I think it was this one, because look at his face. His kind of needs to be tipped that way, too. And he doesn't have any of the color on his face, so we may add color to his face. He's going to be standing directly on those flowers. I could scoot him down a little bit. Go under her head a little bit, maybe. So yeah, I'm not sure how exactly I want to color up his face, but we could just add the tissue and stuff to it. That works pretty good. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We could even put like words on his face and stuff like that, like we did with the last ones. That was kind of fun. Or some music or something. Let's see. There's happy. I can put happy on his face. And I can add the music too. I need to move all the other ones because I see them and then I'm confused what I'm doing here. Because he looks real happy, right? <laughs> mm. All just silliness and fun. That's what it's all about, right? I think so. Can't take everything super seriously. I mean, there's definitely a time and a place, right? For serious, for sure. I 
his love has won my heart. I don't know that I'll put that one on his face. I may put that one somewhere else, but that's kind of fun. I think maybe I just want a little bit of music. I might just kind of run it right down his face. Not very much, just a little. Just kind of like that sort of thing. Maybe tear this a little more slanted like. Crazy. So yeah, just play around with whatever you've got. You could even, you know, you can draw clothes, you can draw faces, whatever. Just play around. Have some fun with it. Because that's what it should be, is fun. I'm going to stamp a little bit on his face with the Tim Holtz stamp here, but you could use any stamp that you have that's like, um, you know, words or whatever, and I'm choosing these just sort of random numbers over here. And then that's sewing tissue, like I use quite frequently. And that piece will work. With my glue sitting open, that was not smart. And I do try to get it all over as much as possible because that way you don't get weird spots where there isn't anything. dry a little bit. I think I might just put a little a little music on her. Just a little. No, I think I like that just the way it is. I don't want to add anything else. Okay. Let's see here. If we tear this. I just wanted it to dry a bit because sometimes when you try to tear it, it just will start to lift off of what you have it on. I'm leaving some kind of sticking off the top of his head. Wherever it hangs off, I'm just going to let it hang off. I'm 
gonna put the tabs kind of behind his head, I think. And then his head's gonna kind of come behind hers a little bit. Scoop him down. This is always the tricky part, <laughs> is making it all go together. But I do think this is a fun use of these leftover clothes for paper dolls, if you happen to have any of those. You draw yourself some heads, or, you know, if you do have the state stencil or decide to get it, it works pretty good for that. Oh, trying to get his head right here. That glitter glue sticks super fast once it decides to do it. A little bit lower, but I don't think I got it good. I know it's kooky, <laughs> it makes me laugh though. His love has won my heart. I need to put a little glue under his collar because there wasn't any. Uh, a little, and I put a ton, and then a little under their heads here, and I hit my light every time. You could do this as a page in a journal, a journal journal too, like just for fun decoration in a journal. Um, it doesn't have to be an art journal. I think it would be super fun in a regular journal. Oh, his little tab got torn off there with my overzealous paper toweling. adds vintageness to it. They're like from the 80s anyway, these kind of paper dolls. I mean, I think you can still buy them, but I had some just like these when I was little. This isn't them, but I did have some just like these ones. That's why when I found this one, I think I found it at an antique store. Um, I got, scooped it up because <laughs> It's memories, and I, I do love to play with them, and I used to put them in, like, pockets and journals, and you know how you just kind of get out of it or whatever. Um, but, yeah. And I'll try to remember to link the video where I um, made those little heads using that stencil, just in case you, you know, didn't see it and you want to see it. And then I think I'm going to add a little color to those because the color is good. These are iridescent paints from Arteza that I just love. Piece of mylar <laughs> from making stencils. I always have these weird off-cut pieces left over and they work great for paint and I have started um uh, if you order a stencil if I remember I've been putting like a little square of it in there so if you do get one of my stencils and you get that in there and you're like what in the world is this for it's great for paint so or you know whatever that you want to put on there um it just works really well I moved everything around so I'm like looking randomly for stuff that's like right in front of my nose And again, I'm just doing that fun little kind of splash of color, not like gobs. They're just, it's just kind of fun to play with. Adds a little something, I think. And then I like it with her face with the pink. And what color could we, else could we add? Royal purple. I like this fairy tale blue color. It's very pretty. Oh, let's see if you can open it. I need to clean off the lids, huh? Let's 
last thing I think about, right? Um, do I want any on his face? Yeah, it needs to go all the way across. And what else do I want to add to it? Anything? Is it done? I could add just a few stamp things, I think. Oh, there's a piece of paper towel stuck on her head up there. That's lovely. Stamp twice, apparently. I'm gonna grab something, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I had to grab a heart stamp. <laughs> it was just, had to be done, right? I didn't want you guys to have to wait, and luckily you didn't, because then I got a call from the vet right <laughs> the same time and you guys would have been deafened by the ringing because my ipad goes off too so because a lot of times my phone is off so i do that so that i know i'm getting a call but somehow even though i have the do not disturb on this it rang too so who knows but anyway i'm gonna try to get this heart to come on clear here Ta-da. Just had to be done. Had to be done. Okay, let's see. I kind of just want some little these things. Whatever they're called. They look like splatters, but they're I don't know. Almost like kind of sticking to my finger, but not really. I moved. <laughs> Dingy. That um, these clothes are a little bit slippery, you know, because they're like a glossy finish on them. And so is that book page. I just slid right across it. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. I need to stop. I'm just going to destroy it at this rate. All right. So that's my zany little art journaling for today. The lovely couple that they are. I still think this is a great use of these paper dolls. So I'm very pleased because I've wanted something to do with these forever. So thank you for indulging me. And I hope that you get at least something out of it. <laughs> Have an awesome day. And I will chat with you guys again soon. Love ya. Bye.